One day while roaming the streets of Wyoming, I heard a strange sound in my ear. The smell of exhaust, the air turned to frost, the city became cavalier. I saw a bright light invading my eyesight before I looked up to see. An alien spaceship come from outer space, it so happened to land next to me. I watched as the bay doors drew open until I saw a weird creature on top of the hill. And I saw purple dragons flying off, spraying music out like raindrops. Many creatures, big and small, never got the chance to see them all. Underneath the crazy stars, up above the great big waters, these are things I've seen so far during my stay with the alien starter. I saw a lot of alien armadas as we passed the Zargon elite. They took out our left wing by shooting their death beam. We couldn't elude our defeat. We spiraled and plummeted, knocking out all my wind. I looked for something to brace. We finally landed on another planet. It was a mysterious place. I watched as the bay doors drew open until I stepped out to look upon radiant hills. And I saw... Rainbow zebras dancing like graceful angels on the turnpike, silhouettes of dinosaurs, and the sound of their deafening roars underneath the crazy stars, up above the great big waters. These are things I've seen so far during my stay with the alien's daughter. We quickly embarked on a search for spare parts to repair the spacecraft that we flew. The native inhabitants showed us no arrogance, helping to find us some food. The night was upon us, and red anacondas had offered their shelter for now. We couldn't refuse as the sunlight reduced and the raindrops began to come down. I watched as the creatures of night did appear, but soon it was dark and I only could hear. And I heard... Yells and howls at the moon. Birds were chirping to their own tune. Lots of whispering and more. Nothing I have ever heard before. Underneath the crazy stars. Up above the great big waters. These are things I've seen so far. During my stay with the alien's daughter. Soon it was sunrise and to my own surprise. The ship had been fixed overnight. We thanked all the creatures for adding new features to aid us in glorious flight. The engines were revving to space we were heading, away from this planet we went. It's then that we realized we were out of supplies and soon our, our fuel would be spent. We had to land on the nearest pit stop. I wandered the planet as our tank filled up. And I saw rocket ships and landing pads, engine caps and creatures in hazmats, buildings reaching to the sky, flying cars and glistening street lights, underneath the crazy stars, up above the great big waters. These are things I've seen so far during my stay with the alien's daughter. As I paraded around the main gate, it occurred to me I wouldn't find the entrance to pass through a door leading into the city that did lie behind. I sighed and remembered another team member I left to refill the gas tank. I quickly returned to the spaceship and we flew away from this glorious place. I looked out the window and to my surprise I couldn't believe it with my own two eyes. And I saw evil monsters charging in to the city we had once been. I watched the magnificent fight as the planet went out of sight underneath the crazy stars up above the great big waters. These are things I've seen so far during my stay with the alien's daughter. The alien told me they're going to hold me away in my own prison cell. My eyes grew much wider, I thought, do I fight her or do I escape from this hell? 
She said that I've seen enough. I'll forget all this stuff once they extinguish my mind. She turned and I smiled. It's been a good while, but now it's time to say goodbye. I pressed the eject and I flew back to Earth. I started to recollect all that I've learned. And I learned life is perfect how it is. I would never want to change it. Maybe now I'll understand. Every day is left in my hands underneath the crazy stars. Up above the great big waters, these are things I've learned so far during my stay with the alien's daughter.